Tenzen Bullet Train in Japan, you will need a JR Pass that you have to get prior to the trip. It's definitely worth the money, especially if you plan on going to multiple cities. Tokyo to Kyoto takes about 2.5 hours, so remember to grab a bento box for the ride. We decided to stay in a traditional house to get the full Japanese experience. To help us navigate in a new city, we got a pocket Wi Fi so that we can access our handy dandy Google Maps and not get lost. We found a cafe nearby, and I don't know about you, but I get really excited to eat and do a little happy wiggle. Does anyone else do this, or am I just really weird? <laughs> to ride the local subway, you will need a Pasmo card. Unfortunately, the JR Pass does not work for these local trains. Our first stop is Fushimi Inari, which is a shrine that sits at the base of a mountain. While I'm trying to give you guys some history on the shrine, Jesse is over there making a lot of noise. Jesse, what exactly are you doing? Okay, do I make a wish? Yeah, make a wish. Okay, what should I wish for? For success, for your mortgage to pay off, to find the man of your dreams. <laughs> Jesse said I should wish for success, for my mortgage to be paid off, and to find a man of my dreams. Okay. You ready? Yes. Okay. How long does it take? Like four hours? The trail going up is 2.5 miles, which takes two hours to walk up. Apparently, the further you go, less people there will be. Oh, really? Yeah, because people just give up halfway through, right? We're not. We are not giving up. We're okay. going to the top. <laughs> Did you bring snacks? No. Great. Well, that's why there was food stands there. You know, it's okay. We'll, we'll just come back down. And you can eat all the wagyu beef you want. Yay. If you can afford it. <laughs> One hour later. <laughs> Gotta hydrate yourself. A few moments later. Wait, what? This is Osaka? I'm just using you. Oh, I was like, stupid. I was like, Jesus, we can see Osaka from here? No, I just think it's stupid that you're asking that question. <laughs> Remind me to not travel with you ever again. There are a few snack shops along the way, but don't get tempted because at the very top, matcha ice cream is 100 yen cheaper. Woot woot! The snacks on our way down is more my cup of tea, cause it's tea eggs! Oh, you didn't get egg yet. <laughs> okay, try again. Mm. Much later. Later that day, we headed towards Kiyomizu, which is a Buddhist temple in eastern Kyoto. It was said that the entire structure was built without using a single nail. In 2007, Kiyomizu was one of the 21 finalists for the new Seven Wonders of the World, but it was not picked as one of the final winning sites. That night, I did some shopping in Gion, one of the most exclusive and well-known geisha districts in all of Japan. Mm. While Jessie was being high maintenance, getting her hair done at a salon. To end the night, we just gotta have ramen. Ramen for life! Yeah! Finally, after a long day, time to relax. I can't believe we're staying at such a lush place with our own private bath. Bueller once said, <clears throat> Life moves pretty fast. 
if you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. I definitely didn't want to miss out on an opportunity to try on a kimono. Depending on the formality of the kimono, the cost is anywhere between $30 to $90. Kimonos were the main article of clothing in the past. However, during the Minji period between 1868 and 1912, Japan was heavily influenced by Western culture. So since then, kimonos are only worn for special occasions. Hi! So we just got kimono fitted. This is my first time. My it's time. really tight, so can't really breathe. Please exit on the left. Made it to Osaka. November is a great time to visit Osaka. The Festival of Lights is one of the most spectacular illumination events in Japan. Osaka is also famous for its shopping district. Who needs to play Pokemon Go when you are in the heart of where it all started? I also ran into some anime friends and made peace with One Piece. Walked around more and found some weird Japanese invention. Is it to help you lose fat? Yeah. Okay, alright, let's go. Thank you. The next day, we got up extra early to visit the Arishiyama Forest. Even though we got there at 8 a.m. in the morning, it was extremely crowded. The forest is open 24 hours and it's easily accessible by train, bus, taxi, or bike. We are at the Japanese garden. This is inside the bamboo forest. For lunch, we had Japanese curry. Mm. It just like melts in your mouth. Then we headed to the train station again. We finally made it to Nara and bought some deer biscuits. Instead of squirrels in the park, Nara is full of deers. And apparently, they're very polite, just like it's Japanese hard. people. <laughs> you do this. I can't do this. I'm scared. Oh. Oh, my lips so the deers were a little bit needy <laughs> and can be aggressive. Where was this sign at the entrance? If I had to choose my favorite restaurant for the entire trip, it would be this mama papa shop in Nara. I had the best sashimi in my life. So we are at a tiny restaurant and these um, grandpas just got us a potato salad. So you know when, when you look so pretty. So apparently in Japan, instead of sending drinks over to a girl, you send potato salad. <laughs> On our last day, so I arrived at the Golden Temple. Super crowded here. That thing? Oh my god. So, lost Jesse. Oh, there's Jesse. The top two stories of the building is covered with pure gold leaf. And like with all temples, it's a place for prayers. This time, I prayed for my family and for my dog. At the beginning of 2020, my dog got hit by a car and survived. I couldn't help but think that Buddha was watching over him for me. Jesse, what's your favorite part of the trip so far? Um, getting to work in 
I'm sad that life is so different now compared to a year ago. But I hope one day I can go back to Japan and relive what feels like a dream that I never want to wake up from. Thanks for watching. See you next time.